guys. Your baby's walking. Yeah. We have all of the goats gathered up here. Um, I have a lot, despite being out on fresh pasture that's not had animals on it for a while. Um, I have a lot of unthrifty does. Um, you'll notice here, just a lot of not as not as full as what they should be. Uh, Maggie here is probably the worst. Um, and she... Hi, baby girl. You're a sweetheart. She's my dairy doe. Uh, very dairy skin. So she's always kind of got a little bit going on. But we, uh, we weaned her baby and sold her baby. And she dried up for about two weeks. And then all of a sudden, just in the past, you know, ten days probably, she got diarrhea, which is a big sign of coccidia. Got real, real skinny, and she kind of got full. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, so like I said, she had dried up. But we are going to. Not everybody looks. Not everybody looks bad. But before we do, we're going to check for manchas. My camera battery is about dead, unfortunately. Hi, Aspen. You and your ears. Um. So we'll we'll time lapse whatever we can get real quick. Yeah, I'll let you well let me charge it and I'll let you hold it later, okay? Alright, here we go. Here's Nova's boy. Um, he's getting his first dose. He's over three, going on four weeks old. We give, we start giving our babies dewormers at one month, two month. Um, that's for when they're most susceptible to get parasites. Um, we've had fecals done on our farm. It's always coccidia and just a general stomach worm. Um, the vet generally, that's what he calls them. Uh, sometimes he'll say brown worms or something like that. We never have issues really with the uh, tapeworm or anything else. But we're gonna give him his first dose. Um, we're gonna wait. I have to give them another dose in two weeks and I'm going to try to get blood draws done at that point in time to have our biosecurity um, testing done, which I'll go over that in a later video, um, but we'll do hoof trims then and give everybody their second dose. Um, he won't get one then, but I will give laces to little girls their first dose then, um, cause they're just a couple weeks old now. So that'll put them about that four week mark. But let's get him his dose.
21%. It was just at 18. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, so I've gotten five does left. There's four here. And Lace is hiding out in the stall. Um, but you may have noticed on my time lapse that I did not give Primrose a second medication, this Falbazin. It is not safe for pregnant does. Um, and after she had her twin bucklings, I actually bred her back to Triton, which I normally do not do. I usually only breed them once a year, but I did let her naturally breed back like a goat normally would, um, because I do intend to sell her in the next spring, next year. Um, so she will have kids in the fall. Hopefully she'll have a doling that I can retain, but if not, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Um, but that's why I did not give her that dose because um, I, I did let her breed back. I don't know that she is pregnant, but just in case she is, we don't want to risk any kind of complications or her miscarrying or aborting. Or... Whew, we're getting there. Almost done. It's a nice 80 degree day out today, so I picked a good one. <laughs> but we're going to keep going until my camera dies and then we'll come back later. Okay guys, it's been a few days since we gave our girls our dewormers. Um, Letty wanted a video. I'm gonna give her the camera.
Okay, I think Letty got tired of it. It's early. Well, it's not early, but it's hot. So the does do not have a full belly. So what you're seeing is literally down to the meaty parts of them. They don't have a full belly that's hiding their body structure. What, honey? This girl here and her sister, which is the one with the green collar, are going to their new home this weekend. I think they're going, going together, actually. Mommy! What? Daddy's trying to sleep. You want to sleep? No, Andy's trying to take my sweetie. Oh, they're, they're, they're trying to take your sweeties? Your candy, your suckers? Uh-huh. Yeah, those goats will do it if you're not careful. Here is Lace's baby girls. Hi, baby girls. Her ear did not straighten up, so I don't know what's up with that. Oh, Aspen, huh? Come on. Show the baby goats. I'm gonna get that one to look back. Wait a suckers <laughs> got bubble gum and the cotton candy ones don't you it's the best ones has been <coughs> all right well that'll be it for this video if you have any questions um I didn't check each and every goat's famancha, um, which you might see in the video or you might notice that I didn't. And that's because the first couple that I checked where the camera was kind of slightly off of them before I gave them their medicine, they were kind of about a three. If you know anything about the famancha scale, it's three is about medium. If they had been a three and everybody was looking good, I probably would not have given them anything, but being that everybody else was almost like a, um, a level lower, I went ahead and everybody just ended up getting treated. The whole herd. No, we're not going to gather them. She's sitting on them. She's going to hatch them. It's my Andy. What about the orange? Is the orange going to hatch? All right, guys, that's it for this video. So we'll catch you on the next one. Buddy, do you want to say bye this time? Bye. <laughs> and guys, don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, put them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. Um, our next one should be chicken related. <laughs> we got a new project going on, so see ya.